Okay, guys, so sometimes when we're finding um, basically the, the values with inside of quadrilateral, we need to use a heap of information, okay, a heap of information and our knowledge of parallel lines, okay, and also things like vertically opposite angles and all of those sorts of things to help us find the answer, okay? So basically what we're going to do here is let's have a look at this one here first and we want to find the measurement of A. Now a lot of people will probably look at this and they go, okay, well, A is going to equal, all right, well, let's look at the angles that we know already. So this is 115 degrees here and we know that this is 90. Now you could say that because this is on a straight line, this angle in here is going to equal 180, take away 115, okay? And that's going to give us a size of 65 degrees, okay? Now here's the issue. I know that that's 65, I know that that's 90, but I'm still short two angles. And remembering that all quadrilaterals add up to 360 degrees. So I'm still short, I'm still short by um, this angle here. Now the game changer in this one is these two lines, or these two arrows, because these arrows tell us that these lines run parallel. And when you're finding out these problems, you can always extend parallel lines. And basically when we extend those parallel lines, it immediately gives us the answer, because 115 is vertically opposite to A, okay? So I can easily find out that angle because they are um, parallel lines. So A is going to equal 115 degrees, and here I should say alternate to uh, 115 degrees. Now you could also say, okay, well they're parallel lines, so I can extend this one, okay? Which means that this here would be um, 90 degrees because it's alternate, which means that this one here would be 90 degrees because it's also co-interior to that, okay? And then we could add them up, all right? And I could go 90 plus 90 gives me 180, all right? And then I could add my 65, okay? And that gives us 245, and 245 take, oh sorry, 360, take away 245 gives me 115, okay? Which is exactly what we got. So we just sort of double checked our answer there and we got the same answer, which is great. Over here with this one, now you'll notice that this basically looks like two triangles, okay? It looks like two triangles, um, except if we have a look at its perimeter, it sits inside a quadrilateral. I know that line's not perfectly straight, but that's okay. None of this is to scale, it's important to note None of this is to scale. So when we have a look at this um, shape here, it's important to note that there's a line in between this angle. So we're finding from this line all the way to here, and we've got this line here that intersects it, all right? So firstly, if I have a look at this here, I can find the value of this angle. I know that that is 90 degrees, okay? I know that that's 20, and I know that this is a triangle. So that means I'm going to be able to find half of our angle straight away because in a triangle we have 180 degrees. So if I add those two together, I get 110, and then if I take that away from 180, I'm left with 70, okay, I'm left with 70. Now the game changer here is that this down here is also a right angle, okay? So we've got two straight lines, okay, that meet with a straight line. So this here is also going to be 70 degrees, okay? Because 70 plus 20 gives me 90, which makes our right angle, okay? And then basically I can add these up and I can find what this angle up here is going to be. Because it is an isosceles triangle, it means that our two base angles are the same and our one up the top is going to be different. So 70 plus 70 is 140. Take it away from 180, I'm left with 40 up here. So that means that I've got 40 and 70, okay, 40 and 70. And A is going to equal 40 plus 70, which gives me um, 110 degrees. Now, important to note that I could check this, okay? If that equals 110, and that there equals 90, and this here equals 90, and then this here equals 70, let's see if it adds up to 360 degrees. So I've got um, 110 plus 70, 
sorry, not plus, yeah, plus 70, plus 90, plus 90, okay? So let's add them together. That makes 200, that makes 290, that makes 360. So we are correct. We have 360 degrees in our quadrilateral, which is how many degrees we need in a quadrilateral. Um, and we've solved it, we found the value of A there, okay? So that's some quadrilateral sum for you, okay? You're going to have to do some of these in your textbook. These are taken straight from your textbook. So have a go at these and see how you go. Good luck.